Hello children myself Mrs Sophia Sanjay Salve welcome you all back to ABBHS class 8 subject history today we are going to start with our lesson number 3 effects of british rule in india in this chapter we are going to study how the british ruled india with different ruling system by setting up east india company we have seen geographical discoveries by european powers including portuguese dutch french and british to capture india market for trade with friendly relations and development but british had to face oppositions from french dutch and local rulers british and marathas mumbai was a main center of british and wanted to capture nearby territories but maratha had strong hold over it after the death of peshwa mahadev rao his uncle ragunath rao approached for help from british and they entered into maratha politics and faced a fight 1774 to 1818 three wars took place and came to an end in 1782 with the treaty of salabai treaty means agreement the first anglo maratha war came to an end subsidiaries elens means having a contract in 1798 lord willesley arrived in india as a governor general means an officer to take power over india for this he signed the subsidiary alliance with many indian rulers according to this alliance the british military help indian rulers in the british court payment in cash or the part of territory to the east india company no alliance with any other power means no agreement with any other power in 1802 bajirao 2 signed the subsidiary alliance known as treaty of vasai chhatrapati pratap singh of satara he signed the treaty and appointed grand ruff as one of the officer who dethroned him and exiled to kashi he died in 1847 and in 1848 the state of satara was annexed due to effects of british rule in india many changes took place dual government introduced by robert clive in 1765 in bengal for the collections of land revenue by british maintaining law and order by the nawab of bengal means two government was working together parliamentary laws now what are parliamentary laws in 1773 in bengal by lord Warren Hastings he controlled the policies in Mumbai and Madras Pitt's India Act in 1784 was passed for maintaining rules and regulations by East Indian Company with new administrative system that is civil service military police force and judicial system which were the main pillars of british administration civil service introduced by lord cornwallis to strengthen the british rule in india with the help of bureaucracy by restricting private trade and increase in salary he made the division of territories into district the district chief was district administration collection of land revenue giving justice maintaining law and order were in the hands of him 
appointment of the chief district was to competitive exams indian civil services military and police force to safeguard military the british occupied regions acquire new territories and revolt maintaining law and order were in the hands of police judicial system every district had a civil and criminal court to solve local cases and give judgment equality before law as in earlier times india did not have equal law in all the places lord macley a committee was set up to create code of law with the principle of equality means equal law for everyone in each and every place but it was difficult for the common people to be understood so their cases remained pending years together economic policies of british economic policies of british in india with the help of industrial revolution capitalist economy prevailed with england due to the british gain benefits but india faced economic exploitation land revenue policy land revenue policy was a main source of income for the state by the way of paying tax on the cultivated crops to increase the income of british revenue system was measured as per area of land which was fixed if they failed to pay the tax their lands were confiscated means taken away which led to exploitation of all the farmers consequences of new land revenue system to pay the land revenue crops were sold at less price the lands were mortgaged farmers had to sell their lands for repayments of loans and were exploited by the government zamindars money lenders and the merchants commercialization of agriculture means business of agriculture as per the needs of british government they started giving more encouragement to cash crops like cotton indigo tobacco tea etc for profit it is known as commercialization of agriculture famine from 1816 to 1900 india faced great famine how we are facing now in this corona period covid 19 but british did not take more efforts to overcome it development in transport and communication system took place under the guidance of british to increase the trade and convenience of their administration they did the development in indian modern facilities like transport and communication where the first railway line started from mumbai to thana which ran in 1853 and also started a postal service that is telegram service now you have telegrams in your mobile you do whatsapp and telegram chattings but in olden periods the telegrams were sent through postal service decline of tradition industries in india the british government obtained a huge taxes on the goods exported and less taxes on goods imported from england to india which were machine made and cheap products as it led to close down the traditional industries with artisans unemployed development of new industries in india the indian business could not come forward in large numbers due to the lack of british support though they overcame this problem in 1853 by 
Kawaji Nana Bai Dawo, who started the first textile mill in Mumbai. In 1855, the first jute mill at Reshra in Bengal. In 1907, Tata established iron and steel company at Jamshedpur. In India, coal, metals, sugar, cement, and chemical industries started. Social and cultural effects means how the society and cultural of the people changed. The kind thinking of the people also changed. In nineteenth century, Europe introduced new values like humanitarian, democracy, nationalism, and liberalism. For this purpose, they started studying. and taking interest in the tradition of indian history literature music flora and fauna in 1784 sir william jones an english officer established the asiatic society of bengal at kolkata now which is turned into museum many laws were introduced in india in 1829 by british officers lord bentick who prohibited sati act lord dalhousie who gave the permission of widow remarriage for carrying out the administration in india the british required english educated indians lord macley in 1835 introduced English western education in India for modern reforms science and technology with the establishment of universities the western educated middle class indians led the social reform movements in india so we have completed the lesson by taking the knowledge of british rule in india now you will read the lesson underline the important points and events in the given lesson and complete the given exercise on page number 14 thank you have a nice day be safe at home